lucky for you, the man with the secret threatened to tell the United Nations about 722 if Nabora didn't leave you alone. So Nabora moved the Navy in, but she's leaving me alone. <laughs> People don't call me Lucky Camber for nothing. Lucky so far, but how does Lynn Moore tie in with Nabora? Frankly, Solo, I don't know. I've never thought of her in any way but as a girl selling lottery tickets for me. No, somehow, I'd rather not be Miss Moore at this minute. But you could still be a secret agent instead of an Australian who sympathizes with Japan. Samurai swords weren't forged after 1720, a long time ago. So I won't be the first to be decapitated unjustly by this one. Put up your sword. You profess loyalty to Japan, Miss Moore. So you should be relieved to hear that Takahari and Bach are getting rid of X9 and R Fang this very minute at the office of the late Dr. Harold. If X9 and R Fang were here, they've gone. Yeah. Let our men have them in the next room. Nobody's here. How can they be two places at once? They've taken the place of the dead men in there. Are you sure about that? This door was open when we left. And another thing, both those bodies are in different positions. Yeah, I think I noticed that too. These are fire grenades. What does it matter? The fire will soon burn this place to the ground. Soon, not too. If you're satisfied, so am I. Change our minds the last minute and hit under the bed instead of substituting for the bodies. They're gone. Well, nobody's following us. What now? The Japs have taken Shadow Island over. What can we do except to go to Papa Pierre's? As the alternative to capture. I'm for it. <laughs> we'll wait for Lynn there to bring us the news. Nor Marker wrote this ultimatum. Credit me with having some brains, Nabora. If I were going to send it, I would have had someone else write it. Uh, how about uh, X9 or Afong? I was told they died at Dr. Harold. There were only two bodies, and Marker's men identified them as Harold and Miley. Ah, so? Uh, just because the signature indicates that a man wrote it doesn't mean that a woman couldn't have. Miss Moore, come here, please. Yes, Nabora. This signature. If it had been your handwriting, I would have been surprised. So should I, but nobody should be above suspicion. I am literally writing myself off your list of suspects, Nabura. Thank 
broadcast from the submarine, Miss Moore, will be postponed for about two weeks. In view of the emergency, I expected as much. Now, write the save the signature with your other hand. If I could, I wouldn't. But I can't. That's the first time I've ever seen you write with your left hand. I've seen you write with your right. I wouldn't overlook the fact, if I were you, that the man with the secret of 722 is your only protection. Unless I can make a bargain with Zaboro to exchange him for her guarantee of protection. I'd rather gamble on the man with the secret before I would Nabora. I think I'd have a better chance of holding on to Shadow Island. It's still a good business. It's too good to lose. How much? You need a partner to keep Nabora where we want her. You don't want much. How can you threaten her unless you can turn the secret over to the United Nations? The secret will be in the hands of somebody a long way from Shadow Island very soon now. You'll have to prove that to Nabora. Leave that to me. Is a deed or something you've got to make out? All right. All right. You own half of Shadow Island. Nabora decided she could still trust me. Then I found out about Solo. But getting here hasn't been easy. There are Jap sailors everywhere. We all know that Solo's right-handed. The fact that he used his left when he wrote that sample for Nabura certainly makes it look as if he's the man with the secret. Yes, it would seem to be more than coincidence. You are sure the camber noticed, too? Absolutely. I'll question Solo when I can. But I'll do it when Lucky and Nabura aren't around. Yes, it's very important that we find out just where he stands. If he's really for us, he ought to be willing to turn that secret over to us. Shadow Island will be a pretty decent place, no? Oh, wherever you are, it is decent. You should know that by now, Papa. That's the reason why I am here. Ah, so the reason. Oh, she is the best you can have. <laughs> Question, Monsieur Solo, is no longer needed. This he has written to you about 722. 722? You see, Monsieur Corrigan, Papa and Mama Pierre, we work with Monsieur Solo. Is Solo an agent? British. Hey, let me read this to you. When Terry Haney, your predecessor here, X-9, was murdered by Nabura, I knew he had left papers. I have been searching for them ever since, but only got them just before the showdown last night. Now, if that isn't justice, I don't know what is. I wrote that ultimatum to Nabura to save you, X-9, and our farm, not anticipating that Nabura was in the position to take over the island and block all communications. To make matters worse, I can't move owing to Lucky Camber knowing that I possess the secret. You were right, he did know about Solo. I must make him think I'm only interested in cash, but I'm sure that you have some way to communicate secretly with Australia. He tells us about Lynn without implicating her. 722 is the number to an unsuccessful experiment in explosives that was conducted at Landfield University by Professor Albert Raymond. The Japs accidentally discovered that a sample of it made perfect aviation gasoline when mixed with distilled water. The only record of the formula is in Raymond's office file, and Raymond has no idea of its value. The American on the field is Professor Raymond. And the men that Dr. Hill operated on had their faces changed to look like the professor. And that's why the Japs used Shadow Island, where there's a supply of Occidental criminals willing to try anything. Smuggle a man best able to impersonate the professor into the United States. Have him copy the formula so that nothing is missing. And who'd be the wiser? What an idea! We were smart enough to keep the facial surgery at a minimum. Obtaining an approximate double. Just as I thought. The patient has healed in these two weeks. Yeah. And these little scars ought to have disappeared by the time either man reaches America. 
Well, Professor Raymond, how is 722? Still the best formula in my office files. <laughs> I'll give you a copy of it one of these days. A day that will make you wealthy and Japan invincible. Of course, Germany invincible also. Now, Duke, let us see how well you have turned out. I have just received an important radio message from the submarine. Wait here, please. We had better talk about this in your cabin. Give it. Captain Korakaga has relayed a message to us, sent to him by military intelligence, Tokyo. Ah, uh, so. About Lynn Moore, is it not? Yeah. Military intelligence, code section has finally determined there is a code in her broadcast. Himmels, he's a pleasure after all. No, Groot. Merely an Australian agent, cleverly posing as a quisling. I have suspected it, as you know, for some time. What does it matter which? She's undoubtedly working with our form X-9. That's why they're lying low, nicht wahr? She must die, und schnell, so schnell as möglich. What can she tell X-9? She cannot suspect that we know, and she has been ordered to broadcast tonight, the first since I took over the island. But surely now you will not let her. Suppose the man with the secret knows about her. She will try to send it out. Why not make certain? Yeah, that is smart. Let her go to the Untersee boat, take the broadcast away from her, examine it, and done. Get rid of her through the torpedo tube, as we have planned before. Yogo, Radio Captain Korakaga. We must make certain she does not elude us. Yes, please. Ah, uh, so. Takahari, listen carefully, then explain to Bach. He can assist you. Bach is here now. We have found no signs of X-9 or all form, and Miss Moore has done nothing suspicious. But she is an Australian agent, according to Military Intelligence Code Section, Tokyo. Yes. Yes, Nabura. At once. Lynn Moore is an Australian agent. Australian agent? Yes. She should be on her way to the speedboat now to go to the submarine. Lynn Moore has made her last broadcast for Japan. Oh, what a break. Our only chance to get the secret of 722 off the island. To say nothing of poor Lynn. For the two weeks we wait, and what is it that we hear? It is not thing. But now, we listen and suit the end of the world. End of the world or not, we've got to save Lynn. If it's the last thing we do. I half expected Nabura to have somebody watching that car. No, it doesn't look like it. No, but we can't be too careful now. The porter wants to see you. Get out of here quick, Bill. I'd like to get to Lynn. All right. wanted to visit the submarine to hear you broadcast. But something always comes up to prevent us. Yeah. And now Nabora thinks you should be guarded. Counting tower reports, sir. Speedboat not yet in sight. You should be sighted any minute now. As soon as Miss Moore comes on board, Bring her down. Aye, sir. There's a the submarine. Korakaga is very dependable. Funny. 
Takahari and Fox were coming on board to watch me broadcast. Clear! Clear! Stay where you are. Stand up. Get over there. Jump in, Lynn. I've got him covered. Take long before they get a bullseye. I know, but they haven't hit us yet. 